Yeah, or, uh, yeah. Just, just, uh, like I said before, the, the fight's a celebration of all the hard work you put in beforehand. So I trained super hard, I was super focused, um, I was hungry, and I think everything, everything um, came, came to fruition. Tim, you said before the fight you were happy to bang, you were happy to go to war with him, and you, you did just that. You physically handled him really easily. Are you pretty happy with the way that that went down for you? Yeah, well, Jeff kept saying about how strong and tough he's going to be. Um, what I did for the last year and a half was that exactly the same, same thing. Um, I knew that this fight was going to happen, and I knew that Jeff was going to be tough. So I created a game plan where instead of boxing, I'll be able to bang. Um, I'll be able to push him, I'll be able to stand my ground where he usually ragdolls people around and um, it came to, to my positivity where I was the stronger man on the night. Tim, it feels like a passing of the torch. Do you feel that way that you're now the biggest name in Australian boxing? Look, uh, it's not up to me to say. Uh, all I can do is keep winning and focus I'll answer on that. He's, a, he's our biggest star. He's the new <laughs> face of Australian boxing and he's our next superstar. You, you don't get a performance like that. You, you, you beat a guy like Jeff Horn, who is an absolute warrior. Mm -hmm. and, and we're talking about a guy that's beat many Pacquiao. We're talking about a guy that turns up, and you seen him out there tonight. You, you seen the Jeff Horn that turned up. He, he was ready to fight and, and we now know where Tim Zhu stands in, in Australia, but look out the world, he, he's coming. Tim, are you ready for that title shot? I mean, it's sort of been up, up there in the ether as such that that's the next possibility of Tim Scherer? Or... The world title? Um, yeah, it's up to my game. Again, step by step, um, it's, a, it's a mountain you've got to climb. Um, and once you're at the top, there's one thing to, to get to the top, but there's one thing to stay at the top. And my goal is to, to stay at the top. Question for Matt. Matt, obviously a big win tonight. Future plans for the promotional team to fight again, maybe in November or December? Yeah, it's a, let's, let's see how Timmy pulls up. But uh, look, prior we, I spoke to Glenn and we had planned to fight one more time this year. Um, but let's see how Timmy pulls up from this. That's, that that fight out there was, you know, it was a war. And if Timmy comes through OK. Um, I'm fine. If he's fine. <laughs> we're going again this year then. So Timmy just answered the question for me. He, he, you know, look, we want to fight. We would have loved to fight a few more times this year. Obviously, COVID has stopped yeah. us. We got this fight on. Um, now let's look towards the end of the year. We really want to get one more in. Matt, that's gone to the that's gone to the US, like ESPN. Is that the kind of was that a breakout performance from Tim? Was that the kind of performance that people around the world now start? Well, the world just seen it? him what he did to Jeff Horn. Now, like I said, I could have done better. Yeah. Well, okay. Where could, you, could you done better, Tim? In every way. I've got to rewatch the fight. Yep. Um, well, hit a few times. Yep. So, you know, there's no such thing as a perfect performance, of course, but. You want to always strive for, for to be perfect, and people want to say that was a really good performance, but for me it wasn't good enough. Do you think you'd be ready for a world title shot? I believe in myself. Um, I truly do. Uh, I I believe I am just for that for that road, and that's that's always been my goal to to get to the very top and challenge myself. What is that? Um, I had no if I beat Jeff Horn, that means look, he's a, he's a former world title. He's a former world champ. Uh, he beat Manny Pacquiao. He's been in the best here in Australia as well. So you know, if, I, if I beat Jeff, um, not to say that I've, I can go to the next chapter in my career. Do you, do you want to get to Russia for a fight, mate? Like I know that was something oh, old man loves. <laughs> that's that's always been my dream. I've got plenty of um, support down in Russia. Um, Maddie can organise something there, and I think he's, <laughs> Maddie would be keen as well. We've been we've been working on something in in the background for a long period of time, but obviously we've got to look at the current pandemic that exists. Um, it's pretty difficult at the moment to do any sort of world travel. Um, that's why we've just got to sum up what we do at the end of the year. Uh, that performance, you know, it's not long ago that Jeff Horn fought Terence Crawford, you know, and a similar result happened. So. Timmy's ready for the world. It's just that hopefully we can get past this pandemic and 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 then show show the world who Timmy Zoo is because uh, they got the switch on today. It was on ESPN. You know, it was on Match TV in Russia. Apparently went absolutely crazy in Russia. They, they like Timmy said, they love him over there. Um, but yeah, I think I think ESPN and, and what they would have seen in America would have seen what sort of performance Timmy put in. And, 
like you said, he's like he said, he's he's got a lot more to go. Hey Tim, what did you do your role and get with me trouble? Um, straight from I was no actually once he got a bit tired, I thought he was starting to go downhill. Um, I knocked him down once. Was it once? Or twice. 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 Yeah. yeah um, my fitness was on another level, and I felt it. Um, I do four minute rounds during training, and I do thirty second rest. Um, so that the, th the the minute break halfway through, I was I was getting ready to get up. Mm. And uh, I think uh, what won in, in this fight was it was my, of course my physicality and strength. Um, it wasn't my boxing skills; it was my fitness and physicality and how conditioned I was. And, um, again, that was duly for the because of the prep I did. Um, if you put in the work, you you get results. Tim, after the fight, you said you know my name's Tim. And you liked that. that was a really nice, really nice line. Was that just about saying you know this is this is me here I am. This is I'm not. Look, people are always going to compare me to my dad, and what my dad did was truly out of this world. You know, ten, he was a, a world champion, undisputed world champion for ten years. Um, it's a Something to do that it's, it's beyond crazy. Um, so I'm always gonna float around. That, that son of Kosh is always gonna float around. But I just wanted to say, you know what? I this this is Tim Zhu who who beat Jeff Holland, and it wasn't the son. It wasn't it wasn't because of my last name. It wasn't because of this and that. It was purely for the fact that Tim Zhu trained hard and got the victory. You try and get the the country, I guess, to know you better. You're obviously very focused ahead of a fight, but you relax now. You, you, you take the chance to sort of introduce yourself to the country and get, get that following. Well, hopefully, so. yeah. hopefully, I introduce myself. <laughs> that performance, yeah. hopefully, that performance. Yeah. Hopefully, people I know, know, I, know, I, know <laughs> I know a lot of people will know him after that performance. If they don't, they're hiding under a rock. I can tell you that.